Hey again, most firearms come with some kind of safety and a lot of people rely on safeties. I'm not one of those people, I've seen too many things go wrong with safeties. And I have uh, right here uh, a rifle, which is actually a, a, a high quality rifle, but it has a feature to it that perfectly demonstrates how safeties can go wrong. Um, I probably should say that most safeties do what they're supposed to do. But then if somebody works on the trigger or does something else, the function of the safety may not seem like it's affected by what the owner wants to accomplish, but quite often the function of the safety is affected. So I'll try to walk you through this. This won't be a long video, but it's an important video <laughs> because, uh, well, you'll be surprised what happens. So we open the bolt and we, if there were cartridges in here, we would close the bolt and the gun would be loaded. So I will draw to your attention the striker and when I pull the trigger the striker will move forward and the gun would have gone off. Now we, we eject the empty case, we load another round and for whatever reason we decide to put the gun on safe. So we move the safety lever up and at this point a lot of people do something funny, and I probably do it too when I use a safety, or maybe I did this years ago. You kind of put the gun on safe, and then you're not really sure if it's on safe, so you do the worst thing. You check if the gun fires. Now we can see that the striker is out, and we pull the trigger, so it didn't fire. So we're happy. The safety is working. <laughs> And then we take the gun off safe, and this you'll have to watch closely. Watch the striker, and my finger is around the grip, nowhere near the trigger. We take the gun off safe, and the gun fires. The reason it fired is when we pulled the trigger to check if the gun was on safe, we actually fired the gun. But it's a delayed fire. Not, they won't go off until we take the safety off. But when you hear these weird cases, and in some, in, in some cases it involves police, because something really goes wrong, um, that it, it's quite often that. And I've seen many variations of this type of problem. Um, now, I've actually fixed this gun. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, but the safety uh, works properly uh, with uh, minimal work. I, I wanted to make sure that you would see how it was before. And uh, so the message is, don't trust these safeties. They may or may not work, and they may seem to work, and then actually the safety itself becomes the hazard. And uh, of course, if, if you happen to be pointing in the wrong direction when you take the safety off, there could be a tragedy. In any event, that is uh, today's short safety lesson. So what do I do and what have I always done when I'm not ready to do anything? I just open the bolt. Now people will say that's noisy to cock the bolt, which would be in this position. So now the striker's cocked. So I don't want to shoot, I just go like that. And uh, somehow I managed to get away with it. I don't remember ever losing anything because I, I had to close the action. But if you do want to trust the safety, then make sure it works and do it all on a dry firing basis. And that is today's very short safety video. Thanks for watching.